What's up guys and girls, it's your boy Upshift and welcome back to the Pixelmon server. So today is a solo video, meaning it is just me. Yash is not here. Um, Fizz, Mark, MJ, same person, is not here. I am just here to give you a little bit of an update and maybe do a little bit of grinding, leveling up, evolving, all that stuff. So as you can see, quite a bit of progress has been made. And by quite a bit, I mean a little bit too much. <laughs> I've done a lot since um, the episode one of this, since that super long hour video. As By the time I'm recording this, um, there will be two... Actually, so here, here's the deal. I have recorded... I have three videos, including this one, recorded already. Cause technically not this one, but... Including this one, I have three videos ready to be uploaded. So, by the time you are watching the episode one of Pixelmon, this video, it w has been made already. Bef as a matter of fact, by the time you're watching this, it'll be, it have, I, I have no idea what I was going to say. I was going to word that differently. Never mind. So what I'm saying is I have a bunch of videos already made. So by the time I'm recording this, the episode one has not even come out yet. By the time I'm recording this, this video will not be out for another 2-3 weeks. So I'm going to be uploading the episode 1, then my Galar Pokemon tier list, which you guys already know because it's out already. But for me, none of it's uploaded. Then I'm going to be uploading this, as you know, because it's done. So, yeah, that's pretty much what's been done. Lots of progress in um, Pokemon captures. If you don't remember from the first episode, all I had was a Charmander. Since then, it's evolved. And, um, I've caught a Gabite. I caught a Trapinch and evolved it. And I caught a Crocorock. And one of the main reasons I made this video is because this Crocorock is one level away from evolving into a Crocodile. Which is a little bit powerful, if you ask me. And a little bit powerful is an understatement. And I'm fighting a Maractus. Alright. So, yeah, we're going to try to evolve this Crocorock, maybe do a little bit more, have, like, I wouldn't consider, it probably won't even end up being a short video, I shouldn't have said that at the beginning. This will probably end up being a rather long video, as a matter of fact. So, I'm just going to try to find a high-level Pokemon. Maybe we can make a new capture in addition to the team, because I have found a lot of wild mons that I failed because I was too low-leveled, but since then I've caught Pokemon of higher level in the wild. Like, I, I, there was a level 36 Sceptile in the wild, and I was so angry because I couldn't catch it, so I had to kill it. I kept, I, I used all my Ultra Balls. I, now I only have one Ultra Ball, one Great Ball, and one Poke Ball. So yeah, I, I can't really do much. It's a little upsetting, so I, I was, I've been hoping since then that I could find another Wild Sceptile. Also, in this little cave mine area... A wild fracture spawn, if you don't know what that is, that evolves from Axew and into Haxorus. It was like level 39 or something like that, and I didn't have any Pokeballs, so I went to go buy some Ultra Balls, and by the time I was back, it had already despawned. So I was pretty furious when that happened as well. So that's not that's not very fun. Oh my god, it's a level 40. Alright, I'm gonna try to fight this with Crocorock. Alright. Don't really have a great move set on this Crocorock, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna try going for a rage. That did nothing. Oh my god. This is not good. Something's telling me that Crocorock might get knocked out here. Let's go for a month slap. And then an assurance. Oh, we did it. Nice. I will take... Oh, wait, my inventory's full. I cannot take the fish. I will drop this stick and pick up the fish. I'm sorry for the phone ringing in the background of this video for right this moment. I know that can be very annoying. It is not my fault, I swear. So, um, yeah, that that's going to be a problem for you guys, but it's over, so it's not, it's not even there anymore, so why even bring it up? Alright, let's try to find some higher level mons to fight. 
Okay, we're, we're gonna go for this level 42 Weeping Bell. Obviously not with a ground type. We'll try to fight it with Charmeleon. Let's see what we can do. Okay, and it critted. Of course it critted. My luck, that's always gonna happen. Yeah, I think we already lost because of that. That's a little annoying. Of course, okay, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna try to run. <laughs> this Weeping Bell's a butt. Oh, yes, we got away. Alright, we're gonna heal up. I'm gonna hopefully not get critted again. Let's heal up real quick. Alright, let's, let's go. Charmeleon's gonna give that another go, and if it doesn't work, we'll run again and we won't try again. <laughs> Now I'm thinking, should I go for Ember or Dragon Rage? Dragon Rage guarantees 40 damage. I think Ember's probably better, though. Special attack increase? That can't be good. And the phone's ringing again. That's really annoying. Oh my god, it had knockoff. That's why I killed. I wasn't paying attention. That's annoying. That's really annoying. Okay, we're dead. Oh, wait, hold up. Oh, what? It doesn't have a grass move? Hold up. If we use assurance one more time, it should kill. Yep. Alright, drop. Hold up. Let's see how close we are. We're halfway there. Whoa. Living on a prayer. <laughs> so, we are very near to getting ourselves a crocodile. So, you might be wondering why the Vibrava and the Crocorock are such insanely high level compared to the Gabite and the Charmeleon. So, Charmeleon, I leveled up on my own, just grinding and battling. Then the second Pokemon caught, I was looking for a Gibble, but then I found a Gabite at level 25, and I believe Charmeleon was a level 20. So I got it low, I caught it, that was, that was cool. So it was a reasonable level for me to catch, because it was five levels ahead, but then I used Charmeleon a little more, so it caught up and got one level ahead. And the Gabite evolved, um, evolved, leveled up once. So the Vibrava and the Crocorock, I caught the Crocorock at level 38, and I caught the Vibrava as a trap and shit level 35. Those are my excuses, and I think they're pretty valid. I managed to catch them at much higher levels than I should have right now. So that's, that's why I have high level Mons. Two of them. <laughs> And I cannot wait to level them up, because having a Flygon and a Garchomp would be pretty dang nice. Would have been even nicer if I could get that Sceptile. Because then I could rub it in um in Mark's face that he still has a Grovile, even though he picked Trico, and then I would have a Sceptile. That would be hilarious. Alright, maybe we should go, go to sleep. Or we could check the forest one more time, see if we got another Sceptile. <laughs> that would be really cool. That's called content. Alright guys, we're gonna check, see if anything good spawned in the wild, in the forest, and then we're gonna go to sleep. We'll catch it if we can, even though we only have one Ultra Ball, because there are like no NPCs in the, in the freaking desert villages. I've fought all of them and they give you like no money. I'm not seeing much that's exciting in here. Uh, something that really bothers me is every time I go on the server, for some reason it's on easy mode, even though Yash said it's a peaceful. So uh, the past couple times I've been on by myself, just grinding and stuff and catching mons, I've had to deal with actually having to eat food. That's why I have potatoes. I would not need these one bit if we were playing, like, normally. Okay, there's nothing really exciting in there. Maybe something cool will spawn by the time we wake up. Let's go to sleep with our best friend, Nurse Joy. Alright, let's see if anything new has spawned. Sometimes it does make a difference from night to day. Like that A-Palm. <laughs> Exciting. Ooh, a pincer. Level 39. I think that's worth it. It's a bug type, so... Oh wait, it's gonna be super effective, I just realized, because I'm also dark. I don't know if this is a worthy risk. Focus energy. Oh my god, that did nothing. Mudslap is a low power move, though. Assurance still didn't really do much. And it has a fighting type move. Of course it does. Alright. Let's see what Charmeleon can do. It critted. 
Of course that would happen to me. Of course. Oh, idiot. You just killed yourself. Let's just drop that. We don't really need that. We need to heal up because we... Th okay, the, the main goal of this video is to evolve Crocorock into a Crocodile. That's what we want this video. And that's pretty much... That, that's our whole main goal. So we're going to get Crocorock to a Crocodile and think if there's anything else to do, which there probably isn't, then realize that it's probably going to be time to cut the video. But I'll try to think of something to make this a little bit more content-packed content than it could be. The annoying thing is in the desert, you only really catch ground types, which is why I have three ground types on my team. And also, I picked Charmeleon. Well, I picked Charmander, so now I have a Charmeleon. So 90% of the Pokemon that spawn here have super effective moves or have super effective stab moves against Charmeleon. And then for some reason, a bunch of breaks in and um, Fennekin are spawning here. I would catch it, but I really don't care much for Delphox. I don't dislike it that much, but it's, yeah, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not an enormous fan. Okay, I'm going to try to avoid bug types and see if there are any just pure fire types. Or, oh, I could wait till next night time and see if any more um, Hound Hour spawn, because Hound Hour and Hound Doom tend to spawn at night time in the desert, which are fire and dark. So I can have the ground advantage against them ground type advantage or we could just go into this little jungle area see if we find any um anything the, the uh, that's another annoying thing so the the jungle is very e makes life very easy when it comes to grinding with charmeleon because it's a bunch of grass types and charmeleon's fire but with all the with all of the it, it, it doesn't go the same let's just say it, it doesn't go the same for all the ground types i've been catching in the desert and also there haven't been very many great quality spawns in the um in the forest which is why i don't have any of those like gra any of those mentioned grass types except for that one septile i found which whew, the one that got away hurts a little bit by a little bit i mean quite a lot of it for some reason freaking manky and primate sp spawn all over in, in the jungle i guess it makes sense because they're monkeys but i don't know i feel like should be more grass types. Oh yay, water types. Even more super effective on my Karaka Rock. Literally just want to level it up once. That's the goal, and they're making it very difficult. Oh, what the heck was up there? I couldn't even see it. Oh, it's a Galvantula. Oh, that that is an electric type, but I'm pretty sure bug resists ground. Actually, I have no idea. Does it? We're about to figure out. If it lets me commence a battle with this Galvantula. Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm coming up there, Galvantula. Don't you worry. Okay, and then it falls. Idiot. Alright, it's level 36, so we do have the advantage here. Let's see how much Mudslap does. Okay. Okay, yeah, no. Yeah. It wasn't super effective. See, so yeah, this is where we run. And we can't escape. Alright, great. Run. Oh, look, a female Hippowdon. Isn't that amazing? But, for real, for real, we have to go heal up. Because I, I really just... I just want this freaking Crocorock to evolve. Let's just kill this Maractus with Charmeleon real quick. This is a little bit of a pain. Actually, I wish there were Delphox here because then, then we have fire psychic types to deal with. So we can use ground moves and we can also use um, dark type moves on them rather than just having breaks in, which is uh, still a pure fire type. But I, I don't know why I haven't been fighting the breaks and that I've been finding, knowing that they're pure fire, knowing that I have ground type moves, knowing that they're super effective. I don't know why I haven't been doing that. Don't judge me. I'm going to go fight a Brakeson. Ooh, I could also fight Execute and use some um, dank type moves. Let's see, it's level it's only level 20. Yeah, we can do that. 
Crocorock does not have a pretty model in this, but I'm, I'm I still captured it because I I've seen crocodiles and crocodiles is not half bad. So yeah, that that was super easy. All right, we don't need the, those eggs. All right, let's see where did that break scene go. That's ah, another one of those situations where the Pokemon I was looking for is just lost. And I despawned or something like that. Ooh, there's a trainer there though. Maybe we can battle him and get Croc Rock. Literally just one level up. Just one level up. That's all it's gonna take. All right, level 23. Yep. Okay. He's gonna have a bunch of Pokemon too. And one of them's a Weezing. So. Oh wait, it has Levitate, doesn't it? I don't know if Weezing gets Levitate or not. I'm gonna try mud slapping it. Yeah, no, it does have a Levitate. Dang it. Okay, good thing. It oh, of course it poisoned me though. Assurance. Okay, that did half. Oh, what? I got a low roll. I it blew itself up, but I lived on... Oh, I thought... No! No! I live. I only forfeited because I want this for Crocorox level up. I lived on one HP from that self destruct, but I died from the poison. So many things went wrong right there, but I got, I got super. I got unlucky, then lucky, and then even unluckier. So I, I, I was just getting, I was getting a bunch of low rolls there, except for the living on one HP. The first, the sludge bomb poisons, which is less than 50% chance, I'm pretty sure. And then the freaking... Oh my god. And then the second assurance is a low roll, so it doesn't kill even though it did half the first time. And then the self-destruct leaves me on 1 HP, which was lucky, but because of the poison that he got super lucky on in the first place, I died. Okay, this guy probably despawned knowing my luck. I uh, wouldn't be surprised, so I have to find something else to fight, even though that would have been even extra helpful, so I could get money. Of course the guy freaking despawned. Why am I not surprised? Why did I just call that? Because I knew, because this game hates me. Freaking the fracture, and then the breaks in, then this dude. Or I'll just despawning on me. Like, what is this? I could just go against Geodude, I guess, because ground is super effective on rock. Alright, buddy. Alright, alright. Mud Slap. I hate that Mud Slap is such a low power move. I wish I had Bulldoze. Because that's what my Vibrava has. And it's so much better. Oh, I, I keep forgetting my inventory's full. Ooh, that's another trainer. He's probably gonna have stuff that I can't do anything against, though. What level? Please be low level. Level 21? Bet. A Paris. I don't really have anything against that. I have. I'll just go for a rage. It's such a bad move, but. Absorb. I'm just gonna keep using rage. Yeah, one more and it's done. Yeah, even with the absorb, it's done after this. Yeah, alright, cool. Oh, that was it? Seriously? Okay, how close are we now? We better be closer. Okay, that's like two thirds. So we. Did not make much progress right there. Oh yeah, as you can see, we also got a bunch more mods on the server recently. Okay, I'm not fighting. No, I don't want to fight a level 13 Geo dude. It's not going to give me any experience. You know, I'm going to put Crocorock at the front of my party just in case whenever I run into a Pokemon. Oh, Blitzel, that's an electric type. So whenever I run into a Pokemon, it. Wait, what? Why did Charmeleon still come out? What? I'm so confused. Did it like go on Charm? Oh, it's because it was on the last slot, probably. Yeah. That's why. All right. All right. Let's go for a mud slap. Freaking super low power move. Still killed though, cause it was level twenty. It's getting dark out again. I feel like these night day cycles are going really fast. That's a rock psychic type, if I recall. Let's see. Is assurance super effective? Yep. All right. Drop all that. Is that a zip striker or another blitzel? I think that's another blitzel. Yeah. Another blood soul. 26 higher level. Alright. Mud slap should do a bunch. What? Okay, fine. Mud slap again. 
I'm just gonna go for like rage. Rage is such an awful move. Oh, I want that glowstone. Uh, what can I drop? What here is worth dropping? I could get rid of 59 cobblestone. A growl. It's low level, not worth fighting. I would catch it, but fought, getting firestones are a little bit of a pain. Because you have to mine a bunch of ore to craft it in the first place, which I don't feel like doing. So I'm going to see if I can find any of those hound hour I was talking about before. Uh, and I'm, we're probably not going to, uh, and by we I mean like the whole group of us are probably not going to, oh my god, we're probably not going to go into an ultra wormhole until later on, because they're such a pain. Oh, we're getting close, we are getting close. Those gold nuggets, did they just, oh, they despawn because I accidentally clicked take, wait, nope, it was just lag. I will gladly drop more cobblestone for some gold nuggets. What level is this guy? 48? Yeah, no. We're not fighting a level 48 trainer. Level 13 Sandile. Doug Trio. Let's fight the Scorp. Wait, is Scorpia a bug poison type? Or it's bug poison, so ground isn't super effective. Dang it. If only that was Drapion. But then it would be a higher level. So it would probably be a pain anyway. And I don't even have to heal my Mons because they automatically heal when you sleep. Or should I? I think I might actually look for some Hound Hour first. To pick off of, get my last bits of XP. This is going to be a way longer video than it should be because I don't, I don't edit. Oh, wow. Speak of the devil. Look at that. A Drapion. Be low level. Level 40. Can I take it? I think I can take it. I, I would run away and heal first. But knowing, knowing my luck, it would despawn. So I'm just gonna go straight into it, mud slapping. <laughs> no damage. I'm not gonna use assurance because it's not very effective because this is poison dark. Oh no, this is not good. Run. All right, I escaped. I am not even gonna attempt to fight that any further. That's a hound doom. Level 37. We are higher level, but we are also at lower health. But I feel I think we can manage here. Mud slap, still gonna do no damage. Oh, it's faster. Okay. Lowering accuracy. Rage. Yeah, no. Croc Rock is has potential to be good, but its moveset is just horrific. I'm gonna go to sleep. Oof, that was a little bit of a pain. Can, can I not... Can I just get, like, a, mo a move that's just better than a freaking Mud Slap? Like, does it learn a better... Wait, I, I just... I was literally just talking about how I don't have to heal. I, have to, I can just fall asleep. Whatever. Like, can I just have a better ground-type move for Croc Rock other than Mud Slap? Mud Slap's just horrific. It's just awful. It's just awful. I don't have an, I don't have any money, but I'll see what they have at the TM storekeeper here. Thunderbolt, seismic toss, Fisher, Thunder Punch, Avalanche, Thunder Punch. I don't know if Charmeleon gets it, but I know but I know Charizard does. Captivate. No, no ground type moves, except for Fisher, which is a no co move. So I'm not gonna do that. That's annoying. Pixelmon is not really liking me much today, or ever, because it, it wasn't even today when I ran into the Sceptile. I'm pretty sure that was um, last night when I was grinding, so yeah. Right, this Geodude better be a high enough level, because this, this, is, this is being a pain. Alright, let's just fight the level 25. Mud Slap. Magnitude. Mud slop. Wow, it died. And we barely got anything. Isn't that awesome? Okay, Graveler. This should give us more XP because it is an evolved form. And then we can oh, then we got a um Helioptile right after that, because that's an electric type. And a Delphox! That's really cool. That's actually really cool that there's a Delphox right there. Alright, mud slap. 
This is the same level as that um, Geodude was. I'm just gonna triple mud slap it. Oh wow, I got a high roll right there. I don't even have to. I can just go for assurance to finish it off. Yeah, it's done. Alright. I have one A, we leveled up. And we oh my god, we got foul play. Okay, I'm gonna keep assurance, even though it's not a good move, just to get rid of rage. Actually no, to get rid of sand attack. And let's just um drop that, because we have an evolving crocodile. I mean evolving into crocodile. Look at that walking around a lot right now we have a pretty bad view of it there we go there's our crooked aisle look at that beauty wait hold on come here wait, I think I can get on its back oh we can't get on crooked aisles back yeah but look at that perfect that is exactly what we just needed is it Del Fox I, I would catch it but I wouldn't use it because I don't. I'm not a big fan of Delphox in general. It's level 36. You see, when I ran into the level 36 Sceptile, however, it was over leveled because I, for one, also I only had Gabite and Charmeleon, so I didn't have much to fight it with in the first place. So yeah, that Sceptile. I would love to run into a level 36 Sceptile right now because I could definitely take it because I have one Pokemon same level, one Pokemon over leveled two under, but one of them is super effective also. So running into a Sceptile right now, or like a Decidueye. Oh, Metapod. Yeah. Okay, what is up with Crocodile's head right now? <laughs> it was looking into its body. That was Metapod. mad weird. All right, so if we get if we get 15 likes on this video, um, maybe, maybe I'll have enough luck to get something good. Maybe I'll have a Sceptile, a Fracture, Something good. Maybe I'll have evolved another Pokemon. By the next episode, by episode 3 of this series. I'm just gonna collect these um, Apricorns. All I really care about are the black and yellow ones, because that's what you need to make Ultra Balls. So, oh wait, I can actually make them now. I'm gonna have to... Uh, don't tell Yash, even though he's probably gonna see this video. I'm gonna have to use his... um. What's it called? His mechanical anvil, because he has one of those, and I don't. Even, we don't even have regular anvils, and they're also a pain in the first place. So, all right, there it is. All right, so first we have to um we have to smelt our apricorns. So first the black ones, and then we'll do the and then we'll do the yellow ones. That might take a while. Okay. Oh my god, it's a level 50 Butterfree. Run. Oh my god, that's intimidating. Whew. I wish all my mods were level 50, because then two of them would be close to evolving into amazing mods. And I'd have a Charizard, which is a good Pokemon in case you don't follow this series and you just didn't know. Oh, wait, whoops. My idiot self. Do, 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 do. We're just gonna wait for this to cook, and we're good. All right, so now we have to do the same for these yellow ones. And then we can make ourselves some Ultra Balls. This is, it's like a tutorial. Welcome to Crafting Guides for Mods with Daniel. So today I'm teaching you how to make an Ultra Ball. First you have to find Apricorn trees and collect yourself some yellow and black Apricorns. Then you have to smelt them in order to cook them. And once this is done, I will show you the next step. You just blinked. Got you. Oh, would you look at that? It's done. So the next step here is to go to your crafting table and place one black apricorn on either side and a yellow one in the center. And you can just 
do that, I'm gonna be able to make two Ultra Ball Lids. Alright, I'm gonna just... Okay, I'm just gonna drop the pink ones, because the pink ones are used for Pokeballs that I'm not in the need for right now. Okay, then in the, then you have to have your... Okay, this is, this is a tutorial for only the Mechanical Anvil, because it's slightly different for the not Mechanical Anvil. So then you have to put your Ultra Ball Discs in the Mechanical Anvil, and let that do its thing. And you have to, uh, steal three iron from your friend. Um, yeah, this is where Yosh lives. And then you just have to place that in three to make some iron discs. And then you put the discs in the mechanical anvil. See, our, our, our ultra ball discs have turned into ultra ball lids. I already have timer ball lids. And you're also going to have to have buttons with you. So you're going to have to smelt yourself some cobblestone and just place one of the resulting stone in the crafting table to create to create yourself some buttons. And then I will show you the crafting recipe for the Pokeball. Well, Ultra Ball in this case, and kind of also the Timer Ball if I have enough stuff to make one. Because I think I will. Yeah, I definitely will. I have enough discs. Okay, I'm going to have to drop something, probably. It's really bad having a full inventory. I'm just gonna drop some beetroot because that only it gives you like nothing. This is totally not an automated message. That would be Yash. Well, it is. It is an automated message. So it's not. It's not Yash, but it's Yash's server. Let's get rid of those rotten potatoes. All right. We take our bases that came from the discs. We take our lids for the ball. And we take the buttons. And then you go bam, bam. Okay, we have two more Ultra Balls now. I can use my Timer Ball Lid to make a Timer Ball. And then I can use my Pokeball Lids to make two more Pokeballs. Now I have some lids and buttons in excess. And yeah, so that that's that's it. That's how you make a, a ball. You, you're, you might have to look up the recipes for the different lids because I showed you the Apricorn order for Ultra Balls and they're different for every single one. So... Yeah, so what did we get done today? We got ourselves a crooked aisle. Um, and that's that's it. Took way too long to get ourselves said crooked aisle, however. So now we have a crooked aisle with mud slap, horrific move, and we are still in this area of despair, meaning we are in an area of not great Pokemon spawns. Hopefully. In the next few episodes, we will be able to move from this desert village, and we will be able to find a place that's maybe near a forest, like a regular forest, or a different jungle that's a little bit bigger. Maybe we can find another septile, maybe? That would be nice. But yeah, so, um, okay, Crooked Isle, where are you at? Uh-oh. I know what this means. I'm about to crash, guys. I'm warning you. Wait, let's see. Yep, there we go. I, I, I knew it. I got timed out from what? Let's let's rejoin and um, that'll be the end of this um too long video for just evolving a Crocker Rock. Wanna log in? Do you want to log in? Timed out, okay. So guys, that's the end of the video. We get we got ourselves a crooked aisle. Took too long. Showed you my progress f since episode one. And some of you may be thinking, well, it makes sense for him to have made this much progress. It's been two weeks since the first episode came out. But as I explained before, I'm making this video before episode one came out. So this is after like two, three days of progress. But yeah, so I will see all of you guys in the next video. Deuces.